Early. Okay. So, Speaker, I beg to give notice one, that. One, one minute. That um, notice of motion given orally. I beg to give notice that at the next meeting of the House, I will move the following motion. Whereas the Auditor General's report on the state of affairs at the Caribbean Maritime University was delivered to the House of Representatives prior to Tuesday, January 14, 2020. And whereas on receiving the report, the Speaker had an unconditional duty under Section 122.2 of the Constitution. I did that. No, no, Mr. Robinson. No, Mr. Robinson. You did not. Yes. Mr. You Speaker. have no authority to do that. Mr. Speaker. Mr. Robinson, I spoke to you. Mr. Speaker. And you agreed with me. I didn't agree with anything. That you came late. I did not agree with anything. M Mr. Robinson, I sent you know what? to the Speaker. You know what? Mr. Copy Robinson, to the clerk if of you the can house, do that, then I sent to the Speaker. I am not going to be here. Properly. If you copy to can the get clerk up and of the house, that who you can want to get a receiving my motion speaking, Mr. in due time. It was sent to you, Mr. Robinson, to the clerk. The speaker is standing. Please sit. Well, I'm not going to sit. I'm not going to sit. You have accused me that I agree with something. Agree with what? I sent you a copy of the motion in time. No, but you mustn't say that. I sent you. No, ask the clerk. The clerk, I sent you copy the clerk. Don't do that. But you don't get the Dr. but Phillips. you don't get the motion. Don't do that. Do not do that. No, I take my integrity seriously you know. If I send Mr. you a motion Mr. and I copy the clock, don't come here and tell me that I don't send you a motion. Here don't do that. You lie. What? I am Who's not going to stay here and make you lie on. to me. On. You're accusing me of lying. No, Mr. Speaker, I'm you're accusing, accusing you. Of lying. No, 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 that, that's, that's not speaking the, the truth. Team here. I sent to you, copied the clerk, the motion. I brought it to you, signed, and I told you that. Don't tell me about a lie. Why you come, come accuse me of lying? I am not going to stay here and have you accuse me of lying. I sent you a copy of the you clerk is here. The clerk is here. You sent a resolution I to the clerk. I sent it to you, copied the clerk. The clerk is here. Make the clerk show you. You were copied. I sent it from about 10:30 this morning. Oh, you come call me about liar? You think I take them things as joke? Don't do that. Mr. Robbins, have a seat. No, have don't a seat. do that. Have a seat. Please. Don't do that. Have a seat. Let me speak to the leader. Have a seat. Have a seat. Mr. Mr. Speaker. Yes, Mr. Speaker. Let me say, have a seat, let me speak. Mr. Robinson sent a resolution to the clerk. Oh, no. He didn't send it to me. I sent it to you. Oh, you sent it to me. Mr. Robinson, I don't read email in Parliament. Have a seat. Do seat. not make trivial decisions. Have a seat. Let me finish my question. I sent it to you via email. I copied the clerk, Mr. as I Robinson, always do. Have a seat. I brought a hard copy when I came to the parliament, signed, and went into your office and gave you. What do you mean I don't send it to you? Have a seat, Mr. Don't Robinson. Do that. It's nine. I copied You're you on it. Nine twenty-eight. I sent you the email. You may have sent it to me. One minute. You Mr. may Speaker, have sent it to me. On a point of order. I told you, Mr. Mr. Speaker, on a point of order, I have a right to rise on a point of order. I told you, Mr. Robinson. It has to do with you. Mr. That the clerk Mr. Speaker, has advised me of a resolution Mr. that you have Speaker, sent there concerning is a point of me. Order. And we decide that it yep. will be sent to the Deputy Speaker. You must yield when there is a point of since order. Since it's a matter that I would not deal with it. Mr. You agreed with me, Mr. Speaker. You agreed with me that next week could be placed, Mr. Speaker. You are not hit. 
And I am serving and notice the deputy today. Speaker say he has I Let's am see serving it. notice today of the motion. It can be debated next week. No, I have every right no, to serve notice no, today. Mr. No, Speaker, I have every right to serve no, notice today. You cannot serve notice of a motion that way. I mean, I can't Mr. serve Mr. notice Speaker. of a motion. No, it is a motion. It is a motion I that you must clear with the Deputy that. Speaker that you're going to serve. Mr. You Speaker. can't get up to you going to serve a motion. There is a, a motion. point of order. May I raise a point of order, Leader? Mr. Speaker, this motion, I have reason to believe, touches upon you personally and your office. Mr. Speaker, the rules of natural justice apply in this parliament as well as elsewhere. No discussion regarding its admissibility or its veracity ought to be made when you are the, a judge in your own cause. Mr. Speaker, may I seek your respect for your office and you personally that all discussion on this matter, the reading of it, whatever happens, you should respect, you should timely recuse yourself and allow the Deputy Speaker to stand. Mr. Mr. Tweed. Mr. Tweed. Mr. Tweed, the clerk advised me of the resolution and that the resolution is against me. Order, please. And we agreed that I would not deal with it. It will be sent to the deputy speaker. It has not been sent to the deputy speaker. Listen. Or if it has been... Listen. Preside over the determination of that fact. There is a determ there, there is a determination of fact that you should not be a party to. No, no, hold on. I gave copies to the clerk. I gave copies to the clerk who provided them to the deputy speaker. And you come here and come tell me about me. I tell lie. I signed three copies, three copies, gave them to the clerk, and the clerk gave them to the deputy speaker. Yes. And I have every right to table my motion. Yes. And you're not going to stop me from tabling it. The lion Thursday, the lion Friday, the lion Saturday, and the lion twice on Sunday. You shut your mouth, you know. Because you're not qualified to speak to me. Will you get up and You're a free prisoner. prisoner. That's what you are. All the peace. Dr. Phillips. Mr. Dr. Speaker. Phillips. Mr. Dr. Speaker. Dr. Phillips. Speaker. Dr. Phillips. Yes, I want to address you. <laughs> a member of the opposition advised me of a resolution. He was advised that because of the nature of the resolution, we are going to ask the Deputy Speaker to deal with it. The Deputy Speaker has not yet received the resolution. And I told the member that since the Deputy Speaker was not here before the Parliament, we will deal with it next week. And he is coming to tell me I'm lying. I never agreed to that. I signed three copies of the resolution. I gave them to the, the clerk is right here. I gave them to the clerk for transmission when to the, the clerk deputy has speaker. Not yet given it to so the what? Deputy so speaker. I must be penalized because of that. I must and be the penalized speaker because of that. Deal with it that way. Cannot deal with it that way. No, why? Mr. Mr. Speaker, I think what we have here is, first of all, the right of the member 
from Southeast St. Andrew to table his motion and in accordance with standing order number 2415 this motion is a matter relating to privilege and to that extent does not require notice is exempt from notice in addition mr speaker the member followed the procedure yes. specified, even though exempt from notice and able to come to the floor of the House. He proceeded to inform, as a matter of courtesy and good order, the Clerk of the House and, yes. and, the, and, the, speaker. and the, the Speaker. What arises, Mr. Speaker, in that circumstance is a sense that the position of authority in the House are being used to muzzle some members of the House from, from carrying out their duties on behalf of their constituents and on behalf of the public. There is nothing offensive about the motion and it requires debate. What the member has in fact done, Mr. Speaker, is to agree not to debate it today. To Out of deference, he could. If 16 members stand and insist, that's the standing order. What is happening is that you're using a, a bullish attitude to try and railroad the house. Dr. from Phillips. doing what it's supposed Do to do. Dr. Phillips. Mr. Speaker, Dr. I, 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 out of, I have the utmost of respect for you personally, Mr. Yes. Speaker. But let me but, just and ask I, you to read the last line. And I am... Um, ask you, the member must obtain leave of the Speaker to so do. Except with the and consent of... And I am saying of, that the member came to me and told me of the resolution, and because he said it's a resolution against me, we agreed that we would pass it to the Deputy Speaker to handle that matter. The matter, oh, listen to me, ma'am. The Deputy Speaker has not yet been given and has not yet handled the matter, and is prepared to advise the host. He has not yet. No, no, listen. Mr. So speaker, Mr. So speaker, in, in, in truth and in fact, Mr. So speaker, I just received the resolution during the course of the discussion, and therefore I would need some time to go through it before I could take the, the one. So, no, no, I'm just, I'm, no, I'm just saying that I just got it during the discussion and the issue. So I'm not here to look at it. Yes, I agree, but I just want to, I just want to for the record, I just want to for the record, but I've just received it. Just Mr. Speaker, notice is being given. I think the best course of action is to allow the member who is within his rights to give notice of this motion which will not be debated today, but will be debated next week. No, 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 it's not the debate. That's not what it is talking about. The motion has to be approved to lay. No, Mr. Speaker. Specifically, specifically standing order number 24 exempts a motion relating to matters of privilege from notice. Yes, and, 20 the, and 25 does not affect that. that only applies to, to, to it applies to other no, motions which require notice. This, is one that does not require this does not require notice. Yeah. But the member in, in out of courtesy having already sent it and inform the clerk, having spoken with you personally, 
despite his right, it is only just and fitting that, in fact, the notice be given and the debate be set as a matter of priority for the next sitting of the House. To, uh, to, cause it to, to cause anything else to be done is only going to cause the House to descend into an atmosphere of disorder which would not be desirable. We, not because things may be unpleasant, Mr. Speaker, means that the rights of members should be denied. A right is a right, pleasant or unpleasant. Uh, Mr. Warmington, the member has sent a resolution, a motion, sorry, by email. I have not seen it. Order, please. We have been advised of it, and that is a motion against me. I spoke to the person who is sending it and asked him to refer it to the deputy speaker who will handle it instead of the speaker. The deputy speaker did not get it, has not yet read it, and is not giving you the go-ahead to do it. He said he will have it ready for next week. And so you are going to tell him that he has to? The answer is no. I am not. The answer I, is no. I, I find and nothing it, you can show me in the standing order I am, will I say that that is to be You yes. have given me more reserve to move this motion. And I Based spoke to you and you agreed. More reserve. Whereas the Auditor General report on the state of affairs at the Caribbean Maritime University was delivered to the House of Representatives prior to Tuesday, Mr. Robinson, January Mr. Robinson, 14, 2020. You are disobeying the Speaker. No, you, you, you should not be ruling on this matter. You are disobeying the Speaker. You should not be ruling deputy, on this matter. The Deputy Speaker I said... Gave I duty speaker has not I gave the resolution. to the clerk. I came here and signed them and gave the clerk the copies to, for transmission to the deputy speaker. The you deputy must not speaker rule has Oscars. not approved the resolution. Mr. Speaker. The deputy speaker has not spoken. Mr. Has speaker. Not read the resolution. It has not been approved. Mr. Speaker. Why is the leader of why is the leader of the opposition? Don't advise you. Mr. Speaker. Why don't you leave advise you? Mr. Speaker, understanding order 24, this is a motion that is not required for notice to be given because it is a, falls under paragraph 15 of standing order 24. Standing order 24 is entitled Motions Exempted from Notice. So look at it. Motions Exempted from Notice. 15 says a motion relating to a matter of privilege. This concerns your privilege. And this matter directly relates to privilege. In fact, 26 says a motion directly concerning the privilege of the House shall take precedence under, over all other public business. 25, which you mentioned, is not applicable here. 25 oh. applies to motions where notice is required. Under this one, 24, no notice is required. The member has a right to read his notice into the record and table it properly. You should recuse yourself from having anything to do with this matter until we complete it for today. And the Deputy Speaker should assume the chair. That is right and proper. And in keeping with the traditions of this House. Mr. Golden, it doesn't matter what you want to bring up there. It says that when a member wishes to carry a resolution to Parliament, no, we're not. You must I get the resolution let approved let us by the Speaker. Of us that wants to be Whether you're going to I lay it or speak on it. 16. Where's 16 of us? Where's 16? Let me show the 16. Oh, I'll give you. See, Enjoy now. yourself. So we can get on the government business. That's rubbish, disrespect, and abuse of chair. There is no motion because it has not been approved by the Speaker.
members, let me advise you. The resolution did not come in, did not get approval to come into Parliament. The Deputy Speaker say he has not yet seen it, and he has not yet said yes. No. The deputy, tell him to say it, all right? Eh? Tell him to say, you know what it is? 